Hey, welcome back to the Disney Plus Everything Challenge. And uh, today we have Psychic Kids, Children of the Paranormal. This is a, uh, this is a History Channel thing. I don't know where it came from. It's not, not National Geographic. It's not Disney. Uh, it is a series. Uh, what, 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 I don't, I, I should have checked this, but it's, it's considered a documentary. It's definitely reality TV. Um, and I have to tell you, I hate reality TV. <laughs> I don't care if it's the Kardashians or people just like bringing in, fixing up motorcycles for 45 minutes. It really, I don't care. I just don't care. Hey, if you love them, go for it. Love it. Mass Singer, American Idol, whatever. Uh, have fun with it. Don't let anybody shame you into loving the thing you love and that entertains you, that makes you feel good. And that it, as long as you don't hurt anybody with it, have fun. But. This is from 2010. It says it's one season. In fact, <laughs> the only season that's on here is season three. And it's seven episodes. So that means... It says there's 22 episodes, which means that season three might be the last of three seasons. I don't know. It's, yeah, I don't know. Either way, the subject matter is what it matters when it comes to watching this. Uh, I'm going to tell you, beyond it being a reality TV series, it's not for me. Uh, again, it focuses on kids, psychic kids primarily. And it talks about <clears throat> the kids talking about, like, ghosts in their life. Uh, and, uh, you know, if you believe in ghosts, great. There's plenty of people. I know some people. I have some friends who have a ghost in their house. I've never seen it. it great. It doesn't harm anybody, apparently. Um, they're good with it. Uh, I used to make haunted houses as a kid. And, and I, honestly, I love the stories with psychic powers and all these other things. There's, there's not that I, I don't love the fantasy of it or the horror of it that comes with it. And that's what, it, honestly, when I see people in a reality show uh, talking about kids dealing with trauma of having seen ghosts all the time. They're little Haley Joel Osments. Just seeing ghosts, one kid is being harassed by a ghost on a regular day basis. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. It's it's just strange. Um, <laughs> and uh, it, it's to me, it's upsetting. I don't like seeing kids uh, being hurt or uh, being freaked out unnecessarily and then exploited in a TV series because uh, <laughs> they 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 talk to the kids about what they're seeing. They take them then as if they, they their parents are upset about what they have to go through, they have, how the kids might be treated as if they're weird or they're different or they're wrong in some way, and they're not. They're not wrong. Uh, I, I don't know what they're experiencing. I'm not going to analyze it. I don't know. I watched one episode, and I think each episode has a different set of kids that they that they talk to. It's not like there's a recurring appearance of psychic kid number 12. It's, and this is not Stranger Things, by the way, uh, 11. Uh, <clears throat> this, this is, in the first episode that I saw, it has a boy and a girl. This boy is maybe 12. She's like nine or ten I have no idea she's so tiny I just uh, I want to protect her uh, but it's <laughs> these kids uh, are in a situation where they're so freaked out they have to go climb into their mom's bed each night just to feel safe now uh, I have to believe that there's two two ways this show exists one these parents and these kids truly believe that they are experiencing these things and they are expressing them to a TV show producer and writers and everything else that say, okay, tell us about it. We're going to get the best responses out of you, chop it up together and make it into an episode. Or they are prompted to say these things, act these ways, believe these things, or act like they believe these things, uh, and in order to get 
uh, a specific narrative created. Because not only do these kids, I mean, are treated like they're the freaking X-Men, they're not. <laughs> they're just like, oh, you have special abilities? Yeah, there's nobody shooting laser beams out of their eyes or claws popping out of their hands, and nobody is Jean Grey. There's no dark phoenixes here where they're just speaking to the ghosts. And they're, No, there's none of that. Thankfully, there's none of that. Otherwise, I would have called BS on it right away. Uh, the kids look genuinely upset, but half the time, not so much by, by the ghosts as they are about these very strange gentlemen who show up and talk them through these things. They just, they seem nice enough. Uh, it's just that sometimes, like, the one guy shows up with an EPK, EPK meter, like straight out of Ghostbusters, not shaped the same, but the same purpose. You know, it's supposed to light up when there's presence nearby. I, I, science? Pseudoscience? Parascience? I love Ghostbusters. Meh. It just, to me, this just screams, I've got a button or a remote somewhere else on my body or somewhere in the room, and somebody's going, ooh, ghosts are nearby. I just, my, my instinct is just to call BS unless I see it myself. It, it, I could be wrong. I could absolutely be wrong. I've just not seen evidence, and this show hasn't given me any evidence. Um, it, it, again, even if this episode was a full stream of consciousness, consciousness experience from start to finish, unedited, uh, even that would be suspect. Uh, but there's editing involved in this, and very often when something happens, just like I hate in reality shows, they build to a certain thing where it's, oh my gosh, a surprise! smash to black, and then come back after the commercial, of which there are none for my subscription, come back after the commercial, and they repeat that same jump scare and then explain it. Again, it's just me and my... <laughs> I am annoyed, not by the subject matter as much as I am the editing practice that comes with so much reality TV that pads the 45-minute, in this case, 43-minute for the first episode, the 43-minute episode run. It just, I don't know. So yeah, I, I tend not to believe in these things. I could almost welcome the idea of uh, some kind of evidence. And I'm, you know, when I was a kid, I had certainly had an overactive imagination and uh, I was afraid to walk to the bathroom some nights or it was just, you know, ooh, I, was, I was scared. Because did I see something weird on TV that night? I don't know. You know, I watched Poltergeist a lot when I was a kid <laughs> on HBO. Every time I was on HBO, I watched Poltergeist. That, that's a scary movie when you're like 11, 10, but whatever, however, whenever that was on HBO. Uh, movie came out in 82, 81, something like that. Yeah. Spielberg was <clears throat> directing and producing a lot of stuff in the early 80s. So <clears throat> anyway, um, so yeah, it's not that I am not open to the concept of these things. It would be pretty exciting if I would experience such things. But there are so many charlatans out there. Like, I'm not saying these kids are, their parents are. I'm just saying there's a lot of charlatans out there who will take advantage of people who are willing to say, hey, you know what? Here's $6,000. Could you play a psychic kid for the week? Sure, why not? Get on TV, um, and, and and just do that, and get let it get buried on whatever channel this originally was on, and then now it's on Disney Plus. It honestly, it could make for some really unsettling uh, uh, programming during the Halloween season coming up in a few months. So hey, <clears throat> why is this wrong in my throat? <clears> throat> oh, no, no, it wasn't a ghost. I thought it was a ghost. Uh, so yeah, um, I don't know what other kind of psychic paranormal things are going on in this, uh, in later episodes. I really don't want to find out. I'm not going to watch it. Uh, but hey, if that's your thing, it's your jam. I know a lot of people who love ghost stories and love these kind of things. And I love a good ghost story too. I love more when it comes to horror. I'm not really into the gore stuff as I am the psychological horror kind of stuff. You know, that, that's... But it, it's, it's this kind of thing that I just, when I see what looks like little kids being frightened for no reason, it, it bothers me. 
people playing up the fright thing. But in order to counter this, they also create a narrative in which they help these kids deal with their ghosts. Like this one guy, the kid has a bully ghost, a, a, a man that tries to, to tell him to do things or whatever and is really mean and throws him around. Apparently we've never seen that on camera, but apparently it throws them around. Um, <clears throat> and they, these kids, so they, they, they give them a job to use their powers for good. Like they're the freaking X-Men, like I said before, they're the Ghostbusters joining up with another uh, paranormal Joe that is has his EPK, EK, EPK meter and starts doing, everything, doing his stuff. Uh, and they go into different houses separately and they watch them on camera and oh my gosh, they're saying the same thing. They feel the same thing. And and this dude right here, that guy right there, I think it's him. Yeah, he's, I think he's the thread through all this. Yeah, he's he's there to help comfort them and, and let them know that they don't need to be afraid or to uh, feel oppressed by these spirits, real or otherwise. Um, and that's good. That's good. It's 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 good that kids who have fear in their lives, who feel a certain trauma for whatever reason, uh, should not feel oppressed or pushed pushed down because of it. And that they have somebody they can go to, they can speak to, that they can help them and overcome these things. And by the end of it, after helping this other family that happens to have a ghost. It's a mom and two teenage daughters, and there's something going on in their house, apparently. And the kids are brought in, and they suss out that there's a mean man ghost and a little crying girl ghost. And, of course, there is. And then they hear them, and they record them? I, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know if I really believe any of that. I don't, believe, I don't know if I believe any of that last part, the last whole last half. It just looks like, oh, hey, you know what? These kids look traumatized. Looks like we're exploiting them. Let's exploit them in a different way that makes it look like it's good, and then everybody's happy. That's just my observation. If I'm completely wrong in this, then I am. But it's just, for me, it's upsetting to see kids um, feeling this forced to not maybe not forced no for paid <laughs> to to explore these things and i hope that yeah if they are if they truly are feeling that these this oppression this these horrible feelings uh whatever it is that's causing it and i'm not at all saying that they're crazy or weird or just mentally unstable or just whatever that's not at all uh what i'm saying uh, these kids are hopefully getting the help they need regardless of the cause and uh yeah that's the way it should be i i, <clears throat> I just framing it in a reality show just makes it upsetting because i know people who've been on reality shows and i know that reality shows are the least real things on television <laughs> i've seen i've seen them being made i was in one i wasn't like a it was a background thing but i, just, I know how it was put together <clears throat> so yeah Whenever I see a reality show, it tends to take whatever I'm seeing here is real and makes it very, very fake to me. Uh, you know, you could probably tell me a bunch of... Uh, everybody has a story. I think I have a lot of people who have stories. I've seen some weird stuff in my life, but even I call BS on my own stuff. <laughs> because, again... Uh, you have to take into account my mental state and where I was and what's going on. Yeah, it's, yeah. So child trauma exploration reality series, not my bag, even when it's ghosty. But you might feel differently. If that is, this is your show, this is your show. Check it out. Uh, it just leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Not that it's bad. I just, the editing and the music and everything else just really, it makes it not boring. I mean, I think without the editing the music, it would be kind of, okay, sad kid uh, is really scared and we're filming it. That, that would be just the premise. That would be it and that would be awful. 
so yeah, they got to ramp it up with music and, and editing. And in the end, the kids become friends and they're Skyping each other and maybe they're boyfriend and girlfriend now. I don't know. It's just, you know, 10 years, 12 years, 14 years later. I don't know. Anyway, it's, it's on Disney Plus. Let's pick tomorrow's episode. 110. And I'll watch. I'm going to go to bed and there's going to be ghosts everywhere. You talking smack about us? Boo. Okay. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Uh, oh, hey, we got a short, sort of. It's a sort of short. Um, I don't know. It's like like a 20 minute thing, 15 minute. It's it's not a full movie or a series or anything. It's a live action. Yes, it's a live action thing, not an animated thing. This is from the Launchpad series. Uh, <clears throat> and so, yes, so we'll see how long it is. But this one is called Launchpad Presents Black Belts. So I will not make any assumptions because the Launchpad series is all about uh, breaking preconceived uh, notions about uh, underrepresented minorities and, and uh, cultures. So, yeah, let's, let's just assume that it's it's fun or it's interesting and or it's uh, moving in some way. Launchpad presents <laughs> Black Belts on the next Disney Plus Everybody Challenge. I'll see you back here tomorrow with that.